Okay, so in this lesson we're going to go ahead and duplicate our suitcase model and show you how we're going to go ahead and apply a different material here to the basic suitcase body. And since we have pretty much the suitcase here um, textured and everything looking the way that we want except for, you know, the stickers texture on um, either side of the, the model here, we're just simply going to go ahead and duplicate this suitcase model. So let's go ahead and select the group for it. Um, make sure that the the pivot is centered and the free and the transformations have been frozen. And we'll just go ahead and duplicate this over. And I'm basically just gonna go ahead and rotate this the way that I want it. Um, since we technically don't need the the stickers on the inside portions here of the of the suitcases, we can go ahead and simply just delete them. Um, and on the middle one here, we can go ahead and delete the. Uh, the left side since we aren't going to see it. Okay, so since we have that placed, let's go ahead and move it over here just a little bit so it's pretty much lined up there. We're going to go into the hyper shade here and simply create a new V-Ray material. And I'll bring the hyper shade window over here. Okay, and we're going to use the same concept to, to go ahead and texture the middle one that we did for the first one here. So we'll go into the attributes of it plug a file node into the diffuse color slot and just set an image here of what we're going to use and like I said these are all images that I've you know downloaded from Google and we'll just try and grab something that we think looks nice here uh, let's go with this is on the other one. Let's go with this one. Okay, and we'll just simply apply this to the to the model. And you can see where it's it's obviously it's stretching or it's you know not repeated enough and it's not looking the way that I want it to look. So, you know, we have to turn the filter type to type to off instead of quadratic because whenever we go to render it, like I said, it's gonna blur out a little bit and we don't want it to do that. And we'll just go ahead and turn the repeats up to 8. Make sure we mirror it in the V and mirror it in the U direction. And that looks, that looks okay. But as you can see, I need to apply a shader to these um, bottom mechanical pieces. And I'll just reuse uh, the shader that, we've, um, that we made for our hinges here and stuff. I just have to go ahead and zoom in on those. I have to reverse the faces on those, and that's that's fine that's not really a big pro big deal go ahead and do that for the back side of them as well And we're going to go ahead and basically just duplicate this second one a third time. But I'm going to go ahead and delete the, um, I'm sorry, duplicate the first one the third time so that I can then go ahead and mirror the stickers for the other side as well. I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter. We only really need stickers on one side of these. And so, I mean, if you want to go ahead and duplicate the middle one or duplicate the first one just make sure that you go ahead and actually remake your stickers or um, duplicate your stickers as well so I'll just go ahead and duplicate the middle one here move this one over rotate this a little bit as well 
I'm going to go ahead and pull the, the pivot down here a little bit and try and place it in the middle. Let me just minimize that window and just rotate this so that it looks like it's laying on the other one and it's on the inside of that and that looks fine. I sort of want everything to be um, leaning up against this one but this one's still leaning a little bit to the right that way it looks like a little, a little more natural and realistic and we're gonna go ahead and make another material here for the last body of the suitcase we'll rename this one first so we'll say suitcase uh, material 2 just clear out the the workspace there by hitting the eraser tool or the clear graph tool create another V-Ray material plug another file node into it just move this over so I can go ahead and get everything on screen there turn the filter type off and we'll just go ahead and set an image here oh, this should work fine go ahead and apply this to the the object turn the wireframe off turn the the replete limits up to say something like 10 and right there that looks it looks pretty good we'll call this suitcase material 3 Let's see material 3 or I'm sorry not 4 3 go ahead and clear the graph and as you can see there are our suitcase materials um, in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and texture the <coughs> the stickers here and since they already have you know as you can see UVs pretty much laid out on them it'll be fairly simple to go ahead and texture them we'll just do this inside of Photoshop and you know I'm just going to download an image from Google and go ahead and place these uh, place the images in Photoshop so in the next lesson we'll go ahead and do that